Hello everyone, my name is Rainer and welcome back. So a short announcement to make which is that I'll be heading back to army over the next two weeks because I have uh, in-camp training. So it's unlikely that I'll be able to establish any new positions in the market over the next two weeks. So, But nonetheless, I'm still actually free on the weekends to do uh, my weekly market analysis so you don't have to worry anything about that. So a couple of feedbacks I got is uh, mainly by Kam and uh, Philip who mentioned that you know they actually like to learn more about how I manage my trades uh, when I set to break even when I do scale in so this week market analysis I'd like to share with you some ideas on how I'm going to manage my trades particularly the pound dollar the dollar yen as well as we look at a potential trading setup on crude oil so with that let's look at some charts so this is a chart of the pound dollar for our chart and early this week, you know, if you look at my site, I mentioned that I was actually looking to short, short the pound, right? Reason being that the 4 hour was respecting the 50 EMA. And, you know, traders can look to short if price retrace towards the 50 EMA or look to short the breakout towards the downside. So, what happened this week was that, you know, if traders did short the retracement, which we got over here, you know, they would probably got short the pound dollar. However, however, uh, I'd like to be frank with you that actually I did not take this short on the pound dollar, right? I did not short this market. The pound dollar the reason being it was that uh i missed this setup because i was complacent and i forgot to place my order in the market so thereby you know didn't place my order and i missed this particular trade which i suggested out on my website so but nonetheless for those traders who actually uh short it all right i would say the green line would be my entry if i had short a market and the red line would be where i'll place my stop loss so now we have our entry we have our stop loss and the next question is that how am i going to manage this trade so this week, all right, I'll say right now, I'd like to share with you uh, how I actually manage this trade if I'm actually short the pound dollar on this chart. So the first scenario will be next week, in the coming week, whereby, you know, price could do one of two things. You would retrace back up towards my entry and traders will actually ask me, Rainer, would you set your trades to break even, you know? Would you set your trades to break even? So I would like you to take five to 10 seconds and think about it, you know, whether you would set your trades to break even. In the coming week now so the question is whether I'll set to my trades to break even and the answer is no I'll not set my trades to break even just yet because if you think about it you know by me setting my trades to break even over here what I'm actually doing is that I will be cutting my trades around we're cutting my trades into an area of resistance yep that's right as you notice price has tested this level tested this level once twice and right now if price retraces back to this level you know and i cut my trade into this level i'm si simply going long at resistance level does that make sense because I, right now i'm short in the market and if i set it to break even technically i'm going long at my entry price meaning i'm going long at the resistance level so we know that the trend is down and the resistance level is a level where we want to get short so it does not make sense to me if i will set my trades to break even at the resistance level so for me if i'm still in this trade i will let this trade run and set to break even only if this scenario occurs so what scenario is that let me explain to you so this is the same chart the pound dollar so if if and only if this scenario occurs right so basically if next week price on the pound dollar started to trade lower right taking out this swing low over here then it starts to retrace higher and now head back lower down here once more right so thereby taking out the swing low over here right taking out the swing low, low over here so only then will i set my trade to break even so i'll push my stop loss down here towards my entry setting it to break even because when price does that, what happens is that we have a new structure low. So basically, we have a, a low down here, down here, down here, down here. And if price creates a new lower high, we have another lower high over here. So thereby, it makes sense for me to actually shift my stops to break even if this particular scenario occurs. So yep, that's, that's how I would manage this pound dollar trade if I'm actually shorted this particular setup. So that's all I have for the pound dollar. So the next chart we'll look at is the dollar yen. So as you know, the dollar yen is, has uh, been very bullish and I've actually been long since uh, 106, 107 and been scaling in pretty aggressively. So if you look down here, you know, basically I, I got, uh, I was long at 107, 108, 109, 114, 115 
and my probably about up about three thousand pips right now. So uh, so I'm still holding on to this trade. And one way, or I would say, how I intend to manage this trade is that you know if price right in the coming week or in the coming weeks, I don't know when it will occur. Price head lower and closes below the 50 period moving average that's when i'll look to bail out my entire position and just exit this trade because if you look at this price action of the dollar yen for the past uh, say few weeks or few one two months price has been respecting this area this value zone for quite a while you know not once has it broke or would say close below the 50 period moving average so that is my exit signal if price does close below the 50 period moving average and if traders who are not in this trade yet or are still looking to get long I would say potential long area to look to get long would be this area over here anytime price retraces towards this zone right the zone that I highlighted over here it's an opportunity to get long if you ask me and that's all I have for the dollar yen and last but not least let's look at a particular commodity which has you know fallen to multi-year lows it is none other than crude oil all right so crude oil this is the weekly chart of crude oil and let's talk a bit on the you know the price action that yes exhibits over the last few weeks all right because this is a weekly chart and you see this very strong bearish momentum towards the downside so the tendency for crude oil is that it makes an impulse move consolidate for a couple couple of weeks before breaking down lower consolidate a couple of weeks break down lower consolidate a couple of weeks break down lower consolidate a couple of weeks break down lower and right now this week what we have a crude on crude oil is actually a inside week so price is actually uh undecided on where you want to go so chances are what I'm anticipating is that price could still uh, maybe consolidate for another week before breaking down lower so with regards to uh, setup here's what I'm looking at on the daily chart on the daily chart all right you can see that price is uh, clearly making lower lows and lower highs and I'll plot in my moving average to show us where price could actually you know tend to reverse it so this is the 50 period the 20 and you notice that price tends to respect this 20 period moving average right? tested once twice thrice four times five times and what happened five times six times and this week it tested a seven time so again if you've been following my site again i did uh, push out this trade idea i said on daily notice that price tends to bounce off the 20 ema traders can look for shorting or put on pullback or look to trade break out to the, towards the downside so all this i publish out way 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 in advance all right so hopefully traders can actually uh see what i'm saying see what i'm actually seeing on the markets and it's up to their own decision whether they want to take the trade so again this week we got uh you probably managed to catch crude oil if you did short towards the retracement when price touched the 20 period moving average for those who are not short just yet you know couple of trade idea for you this week is actually if price does retrace higher right inside towards this zone again which I've highlighted you can look to short or similarly if price doesn't do that and started trading lower in the coming week I'll look to short the break out towards the downside on crude oil if price does take out this swing low over here so typically stops I always use a 2 ATR down here and again traders usually ask me how do i place a 2 atr stops what i can tell you is that you know go to my website there's a video section whereby i talk about how i use uh, 2 atr stops for my trades so yep that's all i have for you guys this week so chances are next week i will not be putting on any trade any trades but i'll still monitor my positions from my cam if possible and with that i wish you guys good luck and good trading i'll talk to you soon